Welcome to the Wednesday, October 1st, 2014 edition of Werner Barry's Daily Video, sponsored by Moark Eggs. In today's show, the total number of turkeys slaughtered is highlighted. Also coming up is a report of the latest performance index from the restaurant industry. But first, we analyze the latest crop progress report with your host, Jamie Chadwick. The USDA reports 43% of winter wheat is planted with 14% emergence in the latest crop progress update. 12% of the 2014 corn crop has been harvested so far, 93% rated in fair to excellent condition as the industry reports favorable yields and harvesting conditions. December corn hit a new five-year low late last week and closed even lower Tuesday at $3.20 and a three-quarter cents per bushel. Meanwhile, 10% of the soybean harvest is complete as the November soybeans contract continues its downward trend, settling at $9.13 and a quarter cents in trading yesterday. For the full summary of this week's crop progress report, as well as other industry and market news, subscribers should click on the news link on Comtel. We turn to poultry market reporter Terrence Wells with a discussion on the total number of turkeys slaughtered. Late last month, the weekly slaughter figures started to show headcount increases which were right on track with the industry's hatch report based expectations. These weekly figures were verified last Thursday with the release of August monthly slaughter totals. Although reported as being below last year by 1%, August of 2013 contained an additional day of slaughter. That extra day amounts to about 5% of the month's total. So on an apples to apples basis, the number of heads slaughtered during August 2014 was actually above 2013 by about 4%. This figure is much more in keeping with forward projections based on poult placements 20 weeks prior. This also suggests that advances in slaughter greater than 4% are likely to service in September's and October's data. In the meantime, slaughter is definitely heading up. Thanks, Terrence. In other news, we wrap up today's show with Erner Berry Newswire's Michael Ramsing taking a look at how same-store sales and customer traffic levels improved for the restaurant industry. Driven by stronger same-store sales and customer traffic levels and a more optimistic outlook among restaurant operators, the National Restaurant Association's Restaurant Performance Index posted a solid gain in August. The RPI stood at 101.9 for the month, up 1% from July, and its first gain in three months. In addition, the RPI stood above 100 for the 18th consecutive month, which signifies expansion in the index of key industry indicators. Thanks, Michael. That concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. This broadcast is sponsored by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.